Welcome back to On the Record, and it's still real noisy here um, as everybody's out from a session and all geared up and anxious to get on to the next one. We're at the Technology Marketing Toolkit Show, and or otherwise known to me and a lot of other people as the Robin Robbins Show. Um, I'm here with Timothy Gillen, and um, he's with Terrapin Networks, which is a virtualized IT um, virtual IT department. Virtual IT department. Yep. Um, what do you mean by virtual IT department? Well. Most of us, what we do here as, a, as any kind of an outsourced IT services provider, what we're, the role we're really trying to fulfill is to make a small company have what a, lar have what a large company has. Large companies have IT departments. They don't, even if they, however they might hire, they'll have an IT department led by a CTO with different groups of, uh, of, of technicians, uh, of subject matter experts, admin, help desk, server groups, that kind of thing. Uh, so that's actually, we actually market ourselves, my company, Terrapin Networks, up in northern Michigan, we actually market ourselves as a virtual IT department. So a lot of people about, I guess, w within the last year, have started talking about being a pure play managed service yeah. provider. Um, and to me, what a pure play means is that all you do is manage services. Right. Why aren't you doing that? Well, because, uh, and it's been mentioned even during or during the conference here the last day or two, has been that we need to be flexible. If I'm going to be a trusted advisor for my, for my uh, customers, I need to fit what's best fit for them. I, I don't like the idea of me mandating to them how they need to react with me. So we're a lot more flexible than that. Now, we don't sell our time by the hour at all and haven't for years. So we have kind of a hybrid situation. We do a lot of it with the fixed rate subscription, but we also do a lot of it with prepaid blocks of hours. Some of our customers prefer that engagement. It still is not what we don't do where we're completely in line with the concept of being an MSP, is we don't just do break fixed, hired gun, put this fire out and go away. We uh, always strive and our, our entire intention from the get go is to have a, a collaborative long term relationship. Earn a customer, not worry about the sale, be the consultant, everything takes care of itself over years. Yeah, to me a pure play is the most ridiculous thing in the world because, and when I, I speak at a lot of shows and stuff, as you know, um, I, I really hate the fact that, that people are coming up to me and saying a pure play because me as a customer, um, I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, you know, you've been a friend of mine for a long yeah. time but I need the hardware, I need somebody that I can phone up and they can just get it done. Yep. I don't want to have to source this out over here exactly. and this out over here and this out over and there. Give me advice as the business uh, owner for how I should handle this. So and then the worst thing is, is that afterwards, you're going to come back to me and say, well, don't blame me. I didn't tell you to buy that or I didn't tell you to do this. But well, you know what? If I want to hire you, I want you to take the responsibility. Right. And pure play from my end, it doesn't work, and I'm really happy to hear that you're saying the same That's thing. Like I was saying, for some locations, it really does work best. So we try to be flexible. Some companies actually are looking for that, and they want some supplemental help that's actually more of a pure MSP. I just don't force that on anyone. If it's a good fit, we do it that way. Exactly. At the end of the day, go back to Marketing 101. Yep. What does your customer need? And that's what you have to provide them, and if you don't, they're going to find it somewhere else. Find someone else is going to do it for them. That's exactly right. Timothy, thanks very much. Great. Appreciate your help.